So that leads me to a question. So if I were to have a wife, she would have to be a Muslim. Great question, right? So, so you can, you, yes. So, yeah. Well, she, well, she doesn't have to, though. It's preferred. Okay, let me answer that, please. Okay, my bad. You can answer that. <laughs> so, so, so I, I made a video about that. It's called, I want to marry a Christian, but retire with. So I'm going to tell you what that means. So Allah allows you to marry a Christian or a Jew. Not an idol worshiper. You can marry a Christian or a Jew. Mm. You, you guys. The girl cannot marry. Okay? But now, so that's permissible if you have to. But let me give you, practically it doesn't make sense. Because it's like you saying, okay, I'm, I'm at an airport. I'm going to pick up a girl. I'm going to have a nice time with her. Right? You're going to shop around, have coffee, have fun, dinners and everything. Mm -hmm. Right? No problem. But when the time comes, I'm taking a flight to Australia. Mm -hmm. And she's taking a flight to, let's say, Iraq. Okay. Right? Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, You'd yeah, rather find a girl that would also be on the same flight as you mm -hmm. to Australia. Yeah, like in that okay. comparison. In a sense Australia, of like going so. to paradise. Yeah. Right? But also what can also happen is because you may be falling too much into, you know, uh, in, in love with this girl, mm -hmm. that she may even convince you that, oh, forget about Australian dollars. Let's just exchange all the currency into Iraqi currency. Mm. Right? And you're like, yeah, and then you just, you just even miss your flight and you go to Iraq with her too. That's why you need a strong one. Yeah. yeah. So, which is not easy, right? Not easy. You understand, right? Yeah. So, right, imagine like, you know, so you want to go to Friday prayer, she wants to go to shopping. Yeah. You want to wake up in Ramadan and fast and she doesn't care. Yeah. Right? You know, you, you like if you have someone in your home who's, yeah, who's helping you to pray your Fajr prayer, go to your Friday prayer, mm -hmm. it's going to help, right? Yeah. If the person you love also love God, mm -hmm. she will encourage you to love God. Yeah. But if she doesn't care about God, or she t cares about God from a lip service perspective, she doesn't know, she, lo she says, I love God, yeah. but she doesn't know what God loves, she's not going to encourage you to do what God loves. Okay. So that love is permissible. Right? Mm -hmm. It's permissible because, you know, human beings get hungry, so certain types of food are permissible. Are they all good food? I also heard that it does confuse the child when there's two different... Cool. Yeah. Right? So it's the whole package, right? Yeah. So first of all, you're seven, then your child comes in, and you want the child to take which flight? Because exactly. everybody's going to yeah. take a flight, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to do your best that your child takes a flight to Australia with you. Obviously, you're speaking metaphorically. Paradise is like far. Right? <laughs> Everyone's going to take a flight. And anyway. you have no issue with Iraq, by the way. Yeah. yeah, just to clarify the example. Because last time when I was giving the example, I said one is taking a flight to Australia and one is taking a flight to Canada. I'm like, uh, you know, I don't think that makes sense. Yeah. So I have to be very clear.